Oikawa was getting dressed to get ready to hang out with his best friends for a group lunch date. He texted the group chat I'm coming outside right now. As he was walking toward the front door, he felt a sudden weight on his back. Where are you going? Iwaizumi was hugging Oikawa from behind with his head rested on his shoulder. Oh, Iwa-chan. I told you I was going out with the guys today, remember? No, stay here. His voice was raspy because he had just woken up from a nap. What? You shouldn't have been asleep all morning if you wanted to spend time with me. Stay here with me, please. Is everything okay? Yeah but I wanna spend time with you today. I can't, sorry. I promised the boys I'd hang out with them. Oika cut Iwaizumi's face and pecked him on the lips. But, there was a loud honk that came from outside. I have to go, I'll see you maybe later tonight? Oika grabbed his bag and ran out of the door to meet with his friends and left the rare, pouting Iwaizumi behind. Hey boys, bestie get in, Kawa, hi, finally, geez we waited for so long, well my Iwa-chan was being a big baby and didn't want me to leave him, that's cute and all but hurry up and sit in the back so that I can drive us to a reservation that we might be late to, why does Kenma get to sit in the front, it's because he wants to play his games but someone back here gets a little loud when he knows his best friend is about to be picked up, hey, what's wrong with wanting to see your bestie? And what's wrong with wanting to play games in peace? He I love you bestie. Love you face with rolling eyes. Okay everyone, let's go. We haven't hung out in a while so let's enjoy this. Sugara drove off and they were on their way to the restaurant. They arrived at the restaurant after 7 minutes and took their seats. As they were talking and looking over the menus, Oika received a message on his phone. When he checked the message, he saw that Iwaizumi had texted where are you, he replied with you know where I am, silly. PFFT it's only been 8 minutes since I left. Is that Iwaizumi? Yeah, he keeps texting me. I wish Omi Omi was like that with me. Trust me, you don't. Bakudo must be clingy all of the time. He is, but I kinda love it. It's best to have someone who is clingy only sometimes like Daichi that's why I have the best boyfriend. No, no I do. I do. Iwaizumi texted Oika again and said when are you coming back home? He asked when am I coming back home? What should I say? Are you not sleeping over tonight? Wait, we planned to? Oh I just assumed we all wanted to stay over, if you have plans. No, no, I'll let him know that I'm coming back tomorrow. Sorry Iwa-chan. Oika texted I'll be back tomorrow and Iwaizumi replied with a sad face. The boys ordered their food and when it arrived, they ate and talked about how everything was going in each other's life. They congratulated Akashi for being promoted at his job and they laughed at the story Sugara told about his. Around 20 minutes had passed before Oika checked his phone again. There were three messages from Iwaizumi. One 10 minutes ago that asked what did you eat, another from 7 minutes ago that asked what should I eat, and one from 5 minutes ago that said you look nice this morning, giggles. As Oikawa was about to respond to the messages, he received another one that said there is an emergency, call me, guys, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, is everything okay bestie, question marks, I'm not sure yet, be right back, okay, take your time, yet, yeah. Oikawa made his way to the bathroom. When he entered a stall, he immediately called Iwaizumi and the phone was answered quickly. Baby, what happened? Oikawa, yes? I seriously needed to hear your voice right now. Iwa-chan, WTF is wrong with you? You can't just scare me like that. Sorry, not sorry confused face. Anyway, when you come back tonight, do you wanna have a spa day? What? I said that I'm spending a night at Kenma's house. Oh, right. And we're on our way to a karaoke bar across the street. Am I invited? Obviously not. And since you tricked me, I'll be turning my phone off for the rest of the evening. HMPH. Oika hung up the phone and went back to the table. Was everything okay? Yeah. Are we all ready for some karaoke? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Alright, let's go. They walked across the street to a karaoke bar and when they got into their room, they immediately began to order a few drinks and singing songs for a couple of hours. Oika had put his phone on vibrate just to be safe and it would ring every once in a while but he ignored it. He wanted to enjoy his time with his friends. Let's sing something bestie. Okay, 
Atsumu picked the song for him and Oikawa to sing. You're not gonna sing again Kenma? Um, I can't sing well so no. What? None of us here can sing. It's fine. I'm not confident. I'll sing with you after those two. Okay. Wah. I love my friends. I love my life wah. PFFT. Is he drunk already? Seems like it. Who's gonna drive us? I will. Oh. Kenma felt a vibration on the side of his leg. Oh. This is Oikawa's bag. Iwezumi was calling Oikawa's phone. Kenma decided to answer because it could have been important. Hello? Kenma? Where's Kawa? Singing a song. Did you need something? Let me hear him. Kenma held the phone out so that he could hear Atsumu and Oikawa do at distraught face with tightly closed eyes. He sounds so beautiful. Um, if you don't need anything. Wait. What time are you guys leaving the karaoke bar? Kenma handed the phone to Akashi. Hello? Uh, we'll probably be leaving after one more song. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Akashi hung up the phone and put it back in his bag. Oikawa and Atsumu had finished their song and Oikawa walked up to Akashi. Was that my phone? Yeah. Iwezumi had called. Ugh. Stupid Iwa, let me have some fun. He probably just misses you. Eh so what? Suga. We have one more song before we head over to Kenma's. Sugara jumped up from his seat. Oh. Was I asleep? I think so, I'm singing the last song with Akashi. Yeah let's go. While those two sang the last song, Atsumu started to clean the room a bit. Sugara fell back asleep and Oika checked his phone. He saw that he had 30 missed calls and 10 text messages all from Iwezumi's surprised face with open mouth. Why is he being so clingy today? After they were done with karaoke, they went outside the building to their parked car and another car was parked next to theirs with the window rolled down. Who is that? Iwezumi poked his head out of the window. Kawa neutral face. Seriously? I came to pick you up. I told you I had plans. You're being so rude to my friends right now I'm so sorry guys. No, it's fine maybe you should go? Yet, yeah, I'm not sure if Suga can hang for too much long either, I might take him home. And Kiru was already crying about you guys coming over to begin with. I guess I could spend time with him. Kawa babes, it's okay we can just declare Iwezumi to be shitty Iwa or crappy Iwa from now on. Iwezumi got out of the car. I genuinely apologize for being annoying and interrupting your night but you know how it is when you wanna see your baby. He grabbed boy Kawa by the waist. Iwa-chan. Let's go. I'm gonna plan the next hangout date I promise. Bye guys. They all say goodbye and Iwezumi and Oikawa got in the car. Iwezumi, astonished face. I'm in trouble, expressionless face. Just forget it. How long were you even parked here for? I just pulled up. I know our car and I can tell it's been on for a couple of hours. Okay I was here for an hour but I also drove around a bit look, I just missed you is all. Am I not allowed to miss you? Do you remember how clingy I used to be in high school? You were so annoyed. I actually loved it, I just had to act cold to keep myself from pouncing on you all of the time. Oh so that's what it was, that's so dumb. I know, I was young and stupid. Well I grew out of that phase already so haha. Iwezumi faces Oikawa. What? He leaned in and kissed Oikawa deeply. The longer the kiss was, the more Iwezumi leaned onto Oikawa's side of the car until he was almost on top of him. MMPH wait. Iwa-chan eyes on the road. The car is parked dummy. Huh? When did we get home? Iwezumi nibbled on Oikawa's lip. Ah I can't take this. Let's go inside. Okay. When they got inside, Oikawa noticed that the lights were left on but they were dimmed and there was also a nice smell in the house. What's going on? Iwezumi didn't say a word as he grabbed Oikawa's hand and walked him to their guest bedroom where he had set up the room to resemble a massaging spa. OMG. Kawa. Iwa. Today I'm gonna make you feel good with a massage. He leaned into his ear and whispered. Then I'm gonna make you feel good another way. Surprised Oikawa face. Why are you doing all of this? I just want to. I was remembering how admirable you were when you were clingy back in high school and I want to show you my clingy side. Iwezumi hugged Oikawa. I want to give you all of me. Oikawa trembled in his boyfriend's arm sniffle. Iwa-chan. Don't cry, I'm doing this for you because I love you. I love Yao. Iwezumi treated Oikawa with a full body and face skincare routine followed by an oil massage. 
He made him smell so good and feel like a cloud. Afterwards, they ate dinner and went to their bedroom. Iwezumi clung to Aika the entire time. The end.